in the first 10 seconds upon meeting somebody new, they are forming opinions about you based on all of the nonverbal communication that you're doing. What you wear, how you stand, handshake, eye contact, even your scent. How you smell is going to impact the way that others view you. And so today, I have teamed up with my favorite online retailer of my signature scents, FragranceNet.com. Mmm! Gonna smell fantastic. To bring you six, I say six, cologne tips to ensure that you are always smelling great and sending the right message. Okay, before I get started, I would like to issue a little disclaimer to all of the cologne experts in the house. Now, I am not in any way, shape, or form claiming to be a cologne expert. I'm a guy, I like to smell good, I know it smells good to me, all right? You know way more about notes and noses than I do. Does it have autumn mist the rhinoceros tusk with a hint of lavender? Who knows? I don't care. Does it smell good to me? The way I see it, cologne is a lot like style. It boils down to personal preference and taste. If you like it, if it smells good on you, then who cares what anybody else thinks? Tip number one, less is more. Remember, overpowering colognes or fragrances are just as bad as offensive body odor, all right? You don't need to bathe in it. You need to give yourself a light dusting, all right? Two to four squirts, somewhere in that range. But depending on the cologne that you're wearing and depending on the concentration of the oils that are in the cologne, making it smell fantastic, all right? This is going to determine how long it actually sits and lasts and how pungent it is, all right? A new cologne is like a wild stallion. Right? You gotta get on it. You gotta, you gotta tame the beast. You can't just go one, two, and you're like, oh, I'm good. Because my last cologne only took two squirts. You gotta ride it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta break it in. You gotta learn how it's going to interact with your chemistry, with your body, all right? Get feedback from other people, and don't just go crazy and apply four squirts the first time out of the gate. Tip number two, apply cologne to your pulse points. The main pulse points you need to worry about are on your neck, and on your wrist. There are others, like behind your knees, probably other places as well, but you're not spraying cologne there, all right? At least you shouldn't be. The deal with pulse points is that the blood flow is a little bit more there, right? And so it heats up. And because of the heat, if you apply the cologne there, it's actually gonna help dissipate it and spread it. For me, my pulse point application with three pumps, one on this side, one on this side, one on the wrist, pat it together. Tip number three, change is good. And if you're like me, right, my natural tendency, right, I'll find a fragrance that I like or that I love and I'll wear it. And I will be loyal to this fragrance like an old hound dog. I'm like, I'm not quitting you. It's my signature scent. It's been my signature scent for seven years. Guys, cologne and fragrance is much like hairstyle. You gotta update it periodically to keep it fresh. Tip number four is rotate your colognes, all right? Don't just buy one cologne and be like, yo, I'm good now, I'm gonna use it until the bottle is gone, all right? A good idea is to buy multiple colognes, two, three, even four, and rotate them, all right? Like shoes, you don't wear the same pair of shoes every single day, you shouldn't be wearing the same fragrance every single day. Tip number five is all about selection. Finding a cologne that you absolutely love. Not like, not like really dig. I'm talking love. You can't wait to wear it. But now where do you start, right? You're like, all right, I want a new cologne. I want to find one that I love. Yeah, that's great, Alpha. Awesome. There are a zillion of them, and this is true. And that's the reason why now I would like to go over my six favorite colognes of all time. Ones I'm currently wearing now, ones that I wore like a year ago. Basically, I think these colognes smell like angel's breath. And I don't care what the experts say. Hopefully, some of these will give you an idea to go and check them out and smell them. If you like one, you're probably going to like the others because we've got similar cologne taste. Let's roll. Kicking off the top six is The One. Dolce & Gabbana's The One. I love this so much that I went out and got the sport version. Both incredibly awesome, you're gonna love them. Next, I'd like to go back in time a little bit. Yeah, this cologne has been around for a while, but it still knocks my socks off every time I smell it, and that is Cool Water. Next up is Gucci's Guilty. Now, as you can tell, I like the popular designer fragrances, all right? There is, I, there is no shame in my game either because I think it smells great. I have tried some of the, like, $200, $300, like, creeds, and I, I just was not impressed. Um, so much so that I actually got one and gave it to my dad because I'm like, this stinks. Um, but the Gucci Guilty, I'm telling you, if you haven't checked this out, you haven't tried it, do yourself a favor, give it a smell, you're gonna love it. And because this is a list of my all-time favorites, I would be remiss if I did not mention Aqua de Jo. This, <laughs> another one. 
I smell this and it makes me, it feels good, right? I love the smell of this. Um, I still wear this, I still think it smells amazing and I still get compliments on it. Guys, if you haven't smelled Aqua, which is probably like three of you, you should do it, you're gonna love it. And last but certainly not least is Burberry's Brit Rhythm. Another one that I smelled for the first, as soon as I smelled it, I'm like, yep, I'm gonna be smelling like that for a while. All six of those are listed and linked down in the description. Tip number six is shop smart. Why are you wasting money shopping and buying your cologne in a department store? FragranceNet.com is the best place, bar none, to go and pick up your favorite designer fragrances at a discounted price. There's a code down below that's going to give you free shipping. Now's the point in the program where I get to tell you about the giveaways. For those of you who tweet, FragranceNet.com is giving away five $50 gift cards, all right? All the details of what you gotta do and how you gotta tweet them is down in the description. Essentially, you follow them, you tweet them, you put the link to the cologne that you want or perfume, whatever, all right? Because now is the perfect time of year to think about holiday presents, all right? I just picked my wife up one. It's the Burberry for her. Also comes with lotion. Also listed and linked down in the description. Anyway, guys. Deal is, FragranceNet.com is a great site. Cologne is a great way to ensure that you are smelling good. But you gotta know how to do it, all right? Don't wear too much. You don't wanna smell Italian, do you? <laughs> I can say that. I am Italian, and we are known for wearing a little bit too much cologne from time to time. Gentlemen, hopefully these six sensational tips will help you smell great and send the right message.